Hello and welcome to Sobrix. I'm Adam and this is Sobrix. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets and building them and other Lego related stuff. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Lego Creator 3-in-1 Cyber Drone. This is set number 31111. It has 113 pieces, and I paid $10 for this set. I've already done a video uh, building and looking at the main model, this Cyber Drone model here, and showing the minifigure. So in this video, I'm going to be... Uh, putting together one of the official side builds for this Creator 3-in-1. So in this video, I'm going to take apart uh, this, and then I'm going to put together this. And while I disassemble the Cyber Drone, I will speed the video up. I will speed the video up while I build this alternate build, and then I'll slow it back down to give my thoughts. So until then, enjoy. Okay, so that is this alternate build for the Lego Creator 3-in-1 Cyber Drone. This is kind of a, a mech or a robot. I believe the robot minifigure can be put in there, which is not too bad. So it's a little like exoskeleton suit for a robotic figure there, but that's pretty cool. This is Okay, I think the arms are pretty good. The legs are rather disappointing. There's no articulation for the legs. Uh, they do rotate pretty easily, um, which is fine. I don't know if it's intended really, but I, I don't think that's a feature necessarily, but it's part of how they are built. Um, the arms are on ball joints at the shoulders, so they have some movement here. There's also one of those like ratchet hinges at the elbow on both sides. You have to be a little bit careful with the one over here. Otherwise, uh, you could pop off some of the other pieces, but that's nice, and this can get in some poses. It looks like one arm has either a drill or a ray or something else, and this arm kind of has like... Um, pincers in some way so using these kind of flag elements to uh, could like pinch something together and uh, I think that's all well and good colors still work um, not too much else to talk about interesting that there was exposed studs here and on the hips I thought we might do something with these here um, but I don't think we ever did and even something uh, like putting these couple tile pieces there could liven this up. I don't think they're quite the right distance apart. So maybe uh, maybe that wouldn't work, but maybe there's a way to, to add these in that would be good. Um, and I might have liked it a little better. I mean, that covers up some of the stuff. And um, there is probably more ways to express and, and alter this because uh, there's a good amount of pieces left over here not a ton but uh, this is all the leftover pieces there minifigure stays the exact same so this is fine I don't know if this adds much for me this set in general with the cyber drone and this so far I mean it's very okay I think there is play value. It's nice for a cheaper set, but um, I guess for me, because I more value display stuff at this point in my life, like I'm more interested in, in displaying stuff, um, the dolphin and turtle and the unicorn set do have a little more for me, which I think in the first video when I was looking at the cyber drone, I kind of used that as a one of the pros of this set and one of the cons of the other ones but um this is just okay it's very very basic it's not too visually interesting nothing too interesting for building techniques or part usages 
Um, but it is just a little basic robot that a robot can go into. And um, for that, it's okay. So this is fine. I think I like the cyber drone build, the main build more. Uh, it uses these parts a little better. Um, I don't really like the legs of this at all. And even right here, the shaping is strange. I think once you get above a certain point, like to right here at the waist, then everything up is pretty okay. I just don't think these, these legs are very well done at all. So um, that's sort of that's sort of that. If you like this video, consider giving it a like. And if you like the other videos on my channel, consider subscribing to it so you can stay up to date on all the Lego videos I will be doing in the future, including another look at this same Lego Creator 3-in-1 Cyber Drone where I will build the final alternate model uh, and give my thoughts on that. So subscribe so you don't miss it. And until next time, thanks. Bye.